Hello, today I would like to introduce one of my projects. So this is uh, not not simple project, it's a um, kind of uh, machine learning working with uh, audio data. So I have the one file, i show you here, so it's in Audacity. Uh, so this is sound file uh, from the one of the engine. And I try to... So, this file uh, contains two parts. One part is here from the 40, 48 seconds till 2 minutes and the 40. So this sounds it's broken engine sounds. And then we have a silence and then from the 3 minutes and approximately 10 seconds till the 5 minutes we have the uh, sounds of the working normal edge. So the first part is uh, fault engine and the next part here is a good engine yeah so what i will do to to predict uh, by the sound to which uh, which engine is, is broken or not so the the first one i just upload a lots of a lots of library which i use so uh, the next part is a uh, data exploration i have the the, the main the main file engine.wav I just plot this file and you see so it's absolutely the same like in Audacity. So and uh, then I create, uh, I um, split my file to two parts. I create uh, one file, it's called uh, good engine and fault engine and I also create the file uh, silence. You, you see here I use uh, this function sound cutter. I just point the start finished and uh, the file names and it's created two files so then i uh, just plot two two files the fault engine and the good engine for if if you see see it how this file is different or not so then i uh, find the spectral centroids of the centroids of the sound samples and i use this function and uh, I plot this. Uh, so this uh, two two plots. So this one is fault engine, and this one is good engine. And if if you see it, it's not so much different. But I try to create my model to use these features to predict uh, which engine is fault or not. So then I create some helper function uh, function to the uh, cut. Uh, my big files to the chunks of the four of of, of the four seconds. So as you see here, I uh, take the fault engine file. So this file contains uh, only sound with uh, with the fault engine, and cut all the small pieces for the four seconds. And uh, I do the same with good engine, and I do uh, same with uh, the silence uh, because uh, I need to. Uh, predict uh, by the sound uh, which one is fault engine, good engine, or, or other science sounds I've uh, written it as silence. So here we have the multi-class classification problem and uh, what I will do next. I just uh, create uh, the file uh, with uh, CSV formats with labels. I just uh, put the class and the file name so this file looks like looks like that it's a main name of my of my files it's a four seconds file and uh, after and it's a file name and a target like it's a, it's a label okay so and next i create the function for the loading uh, these pieces to my to my models so this one. So here I just load my uh, my my pieces of this. I just load it um, like uh, X and Y. Y is labels and X is a sample. So which we need to predict. And also I uh, divide uh, all my data set to train and test and the test parts in the test parts. Uh, yeah, it's a 25% and the 75% for the training. I just do it and I I don't have this file loading. 
so uh, unfortunately I don't import all my libraries I do it now uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right here. I just do it again yeah so now now we don't uh, get labels get labels get labels so we don't this function is not ready and finally we load all net necessary data to our to our models not not models to uh, just to our data set and then we just look uh, the shape of the training data and what we have so as you see it's uh, and what we have in uh, tra in uh, train uh, train set is just a fi it's five labels and we have the 69, 69 samples and the shape of, of uh, this is uh, 20 di dimensions as you see then then i try to look the pca to the to see uh, how many components we need to, for this uh, for this uh, machine learning task and uh, as you see I have the 20 components because our our shape is 20 and you'll see that uh, it could be good if we use only five or less components and uh, just to, to use it yeah it's plot me and then I uh, choose the uh, Kai K neighborhood classifier and I also use the grid search for the finding best uh, hyperparameters on, on this on, the, on this algorithm and I also uh, would like to see uh, how is uh, how much accuracy we have in, in this in this model okay so it's just uh, training this model and you see it's very low accu accuracy about uh, 85 percent it's not so much but uh, okay uh, so the next one I create the, the small help helper uh, if I uh, pr if I train good, good model I can uh, uh, write as file this model uh, with the PKL uh, extension and I also create the file loader uh, because uh, later for the prediction we need to just load the, the good model so and here the one of the main function what we will do so uh, this is a fault pre predictor um, as they input uh, this function uh, this function uh, take just size of the samples um, if you have the the bigger file we can cut this bigger file for the small chunks and the size it's a size of the chunks uh, and also have as input uh, input file name and our model uh, which we which we use for prediction and as the output of this file uh, we will have the a list of the intervals with the labels uh, is it a fault engine good engine uh, or other sound and uh, the probability uh, how our model uh, just predict which label it is so um, what I so and now I would like to test my my model uh, not more uh, so I would like to test my function how it work uh, good or not so I'll take the engine do, uh, dot it's a whole fi file which we have the model which uh, I found the best model with uh, accuracy about 78 percent I load this model and I would like to see how uh, how good this model this model will predict our unfortunately we don't have some function uh, how good this model predict our I got what are the files three uh, and, uh, because inside this uh, fault pred uh, predictor I use a lot of functions and I yeah so it's working now and if uh, as you see at the output I have the uh, like 
like this for from 60 to 120 seconds for it means from the one minute to two minutes we have the our model predicted that we have a default engine with the uh, with the uh, with the accuracy of uh, 67 percent and then we have uh, from the uh, second minute to third minutes we have a good engine and we have the as you see and then uh, with this uh, with this with this list of the data interval i create also the helper for function label uh, writer it, uh, it create our labels uh, for the audacity i will show you so it's uh, convert this uh, list of the intervals to just the audacity data labels and I create the labels. I show you what does it mean. So we have our file, and if I just made the file import labels, I have my labels which I create just now. And as you see, our model more or less uh, predict. Uh, so the first part, it's uh, uh, our model predict that it's more noise so it's correct and then the next part is fault with the 77 it's also correct then uh, the third part it's uh, predict like as good but it's not correct this noise is not all uh, is not correct also the the good one part it's correct noise uh, probably it's it's partly correct uh, because we have uh, half of the good engine and, ha and half of the noise and the last part it's a uh, it's, uh, noise, I mean, uh, the silence. So as you see, so this is the result of working of our model. So I have the, the conclusion that uh, I need more data for the good model. For the good model pre pre prediction, unfortunately, I have only one, uh, only one audio files. So what I have done and uh, also I have the special part for the what I try but uh, without the success I just uh, try the PCA I try to use the PCA scaling with two components and if you see if I will use just two, two components uh, it have the 89 variance but in, according to my graphs it have about 80 85 percent but i try to train model with uh, this uh, pca scaling component but unfortunately the the accuracy was awful so also i uh b before that i tried to choose the model i uh, i choose uh, the model for, from the psychic learn it's a uh, uh, so support vector machine models uh, and uh, so it's a MLP classifier it's a neural network classifier in scikit-learn so this one is kind of uh, neighborhood so the random forest classifier extra tree classifier and I like I also create uh, the wording and if you see the kind of accuracy in this data sets have the, the the worst accuracy and the the good one is extra tree or random forest accuracy i also try to find the best uh, the best model for all these uh, for all these algorithms but all algorithms but unfortunately i was not succeed my uh, uh, the first thing that uh, all other the algorithms trained to Training from too much time, and the kind of trains uh, very very fast, extremely fast on, on my small data set. And what I also do, I use the grid search. Uh, I create the function. I um, use the grid search finder. I try to use the kind of model. It's also extra tree. A narrow narrow MLP classifier, random forest classifier, SVM. So I uh, I try to use this function for the finding based hyperparameters, and if you see for the SVM, it's not so good, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it was not 
so good. Also, I try to do the uh, sound augmentation. I draw. I just to uh, take my audio files and add some add some noise to these files. I add some stretch. I mean, so I mean increase the data. Uh, I mean increase size of of my audio files. And I also create a, a variance with speech one and. After that, I uh, so increase my uh, increase my uh, uh, samples uh, qu uh, quality for each class, and I also trained all the bigger data set with the da uh, with the sound aug augmentation function. But unfortunately, it was not so good. So the best model which I find it was uh, SVM model. It was SVM and Kynan with the accuracy SVM gives me about 83% of the accuracy and Kynan gives me about the 79% of the accuracy. So I try to the, uh, the, the better mo model for, uh, with the Kynan and more or less it got me not not uh, absolutely worse result and I also try to split my d data to the smallest pieces for the 30 seconds and for the 30 seconds it's uh, more or less predict also with good probability it, it, as you see it, it's false good but uh, what what I found that uh, if we use the bigger uh, audio chunks it gives us the better quality of the prediction. So thank you very much for the looking for this long video. It's about 70 minutes. Oh my God. <laughs> Thanks a lot and uh, see you soon. I will do more and more data science and uh, machine learning projects. Bye.